my name is Katie Carson. I am the Duchess of Suds on this channel. Welcome to Soap Must Day 5. <laughs> One of the most highly requested high tops and top five favorites of 2018. The original pineapple whip soap was made all the way in springtime. And since then, I have learned quite a lot about Dole Whip, okay? A lot. We'll talk about that a little more in the video. This soap also got a little bit of a funky fresh update. I liked the first design, but I knew I could do better. Enjoy. But before you enjoy, be sure you follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, I have two. One for royalty soaps, one for all of my personal things like my baby and my life and my clothes and all the things I think in my brain. And without further ado, let's make some soap. This is gonna be the best pineapple soap you folks have ever seen. So the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is pour our lye water solution into our oils. This is the first part of cold process soap making. I'll leave a little tag down below to explain what cold process soap making is. There's a couple of different methods you can use to make soap. You can use hot process or cold process oven process. You can make liquid soap. That uses a different type of lye. There's lots and lots of different types, but this cold process method is the type that I use and that I'm the best at. Not out of everyone, I just meant like I am the best at this method over the other methods myself personally. I'm so awkward, I'm sorry. Let's just blend this up. My batter is just past emulsification. Emulsification is whenever the lye water solution and the oils are mixed together in such a way that they're not separating. There's no oils left on top. And then what soap makers call trace is kind of just there to help you determine the thickness of your batter. So a light trace would be if I lift up the spatula and it leaves a little runny line that sits on top but then sinks in. And then a medium trace, it would would sit on there a little longer. It may not go in all the way. And then a thick trace would be if I did this on top and it just sat on top of the soap and never sunk back in. So to get really good swirls and to make sure that your batter stays runny enough for you to make designs well in your cold process, leaving it as thin as possible is helpful. Okay, I'm only gonna do one accent color for this soap and that's gonna be white. So I'm gonna fill up this container about halfway. I got these bowls at the dollar store and y'all, I have looked to purchase some more and they don't have them anymore and I don't know what to do. Into this container, I am putting in some titanium dioxide mixed with water. And into this container, I am putting some true yellow from TKB Trading. Let's mix these up. I only mixed up the white for a very short amount of time and then I will scrape the sides, get all the little extra bits that perhaps didn't get mixed in there because white tends to thicken. So the less you mix it, the better. And then for the yellow, pretty much everything is already incorporated so I don't have to do a lot there. Now the fragrance oil I'm using today is pineapple from Wholesale Supplies Plus. If we're gonna be really specific, it's pineapple 315. I've already pre-measured the proper amount in to my container here. Every fragrance oil has a maximum usage rate. Most of them are 5%, but you still should check every single fragrance oil to make sure it's not less. Gonna scrapey scrapey out my little containy, and then we're gonna blend this in by hand. Now this fragrance oil, in the past, if I'm working with a slightly warmer batch, and by slightly warmer, I mean anything above 85 degrees Fahrenheit, has accelerated a little bit on me so it's better in my opinion to work it in with your spatula. Now that it's all incorporated, we are going to pour our white into this side of our yellow. We're gonna scrape out the container quickly, and then we will reverse drag and swirl it, meaning we will pour from this end into our two brambleberry molds. And you guys will see that even with as quickly as I was working, it's already starting to set up. 
I poured about half of that in. Now I'm gonna come and pour the other half on this side just to make sure that everybody gets a nice swirl of the white. Come back over here to this side. Roll that in. It is gonna be super swirly and delicious looking. I'm gonna quickly do a very cursory scraping of this large container just to get the bulk amount of that soap in there. And then taking my hanger tool from Brambleberry, I'm gonna swirl it all around. Hopefully we will still be able to see that I have done this. <laughs> After the soap has set up completely. You may or may not be able to see it, but the design is gonna be pretty either way. Before I scrape out this big container to completion, I'm gonna tap these down to get out any air bubbles that may be in them. That is a really important step anytime you do a hanger swirl because with those, you are way more likely to get those air bubbles from incorporating the hanger. All the soap is in now, so let's mix up the soap frosting. My soap frosting is ready to go. So the first color that we're gonna do is this sort of medium shade yellow. And then I have a little bit of gold and viro glitter mixed with true yellow. And then I mixed that up with olive oil and I streaked it down the sides of the bag. Now it's the same color yellow. So really the only reason I put it in there is to kind of make the piping a little sparkly. And we're gonna pipe a little differently this time. We're gonna make a squiggly line up and down the sides because Dole Whip sort of has this appearance and we're, remember, we're piping for the cutting. We have to think about the cut bars when we pipe and so to have the little squiggly ridges sitting on the outside like this is gonna be the most accurate. Ooh, I need to turn this around. <laughs> These marks here are helping me know where the bars are gonna be cut, so it's kind of imperative that they be on the other side. So I'm making sure that each little squiggle up is gonna sit on the outside of the bar. There are 16 bars in a loaf. And for high top soaps, I don't make any batches that are bigger than 64 bars. So all of our batches are still very much small. And now that I have the two squiggles down the sides, I'll just add a regular dollop here in the middle because that's going to be covered up and we're not going to see it. I love the gold shimmer that's coming through. I'm definitely gonna have to use that for other bars. Maybe I should start doing that with some of my white piping so that all the white has a little bit of pearl effect as well. Now we're gonna come and we're gonna do the second row here. It's gonna be a little smaller than the first row. Not gonna go out as far, so we're still stacking on top of each other. All right, gonna do the same on this side. Oh yes, there's even more gold coming out on this side, hooray. And since my last pineapple Dole Whip video, I have learned a few things. One of them is that Dole Whip is not exclusive to Disney. <laughs> Apparently, they have it at the Dole Farms in Hawaii, so if you ever go there, you can get yourself some of it. And I actually found it in Wichita Falls, Texas at a yogurt shop. I am gonna put a little tiny dollop here in the middle just to mark where I need to be putting the actual final dollop. It's gonna be with a different piping set and with a different color. I've got my second color all ready to go now. It is like a whipped lemon chiffon. And I've got a second piping tip as well. So I'm just gonna put a little dollop on top of each soap where our embed is going to go. Oh yes, this was a good choice. I used to do a lot more mixing of both piping tips and different colors. I've strayed away from that recently, just, I don't know, I go through certain phases of liking this thing or that, but I'm starting to get a hankering to mix them all up again. Probably one of the best examples was the original Sugar Plum Fairy. That one was all mixed up. Also, um, the King Orion 
soap that I used to make. That had some mixed piping in there as well. Okay, that's super fun. Now we're gonna add some Royalty Soap's signature gumballs. These are in a cherry red color. They're supposed to represent maraschino cherries. And I'm just gonna put one on the top of each little piping dollop right here. I'm gonna twist it a little bit to make sure it sticks. Also, I've had a few people ask me recently how many batches I make before I go on camera and film. And the answer is zero. <laughs> when I get on film to make a design that I've created, unless I've already made it on film before, that is the first time I'm making a design. That's kind of always been the way that I've done it. I don't really do a practice run. Like y'all are seeing me experiment as I go along. I think the majority of the reason why the soaps turn out looking good is because I know my craft. I know the medium I'm working in. Soap making and I have become best friends and it did, it wasn't always that way. I mean, that's why some of the older soaps that I make, they aren't as pretty. <laughs> Lots of glycerin rivers. I hadn't nailed my color theory yet. And just in general, I was less experienced. Yas! Okay, so I'm gonna spritz this with rubbing alcohol first. My nozzle is clogged on the spritzer and it's being really weird. I have no time for that new spritzer. There we go, much better. And it's time to add some glitter. Now we're gonna get a little funky with the glitter. We're gonna add some tropical pressure and some rainbow glitter. These are both from Eco Stardust. That is a UK website. They are both eco-friendly and biodegradable. And I have taken a 1 16th spoon measure here, the same way you have like a tablespoon measure. This is 1 16th of a teaspoon measure. I filled that up and I am just lightly tapping it so that I can get the most amount of glitter on the soap and the least amount on the sides and on the mold. Pineapple Dole Whip, now that I've tried it, is basically a tropical party in your mouth and it really does taste like real pineapple. I thought when I tried it first, it was gonna taste kinda like that fake pineapple that maybe you try in candy, but it doesn't. It really does taste like real pineapple it has a little bit of a punch to it, sort of that little bit of, you know, fruit acid you might get with a pineapple. Honestly, it really is like one of my favorite desserts now. I've turned my molds around so you guys can see me putting the glitter on the other side. I've noticed in a couple of videos that I haven't flipped them and you can barely see what I'm doing. For the rainbow glitter, we're gonna kind of sprinkle that right across the top. Make sure we get those edges. Come across the top again. Get it on some of those little cherries. And finally, I'm gonna take some of this large hollow glitter. This is from Brambleberry. I put it in my salt shaker and I'm just gonna shake down the sides once. I don't want a whole bunch on there, just a little tiny bit. Just a few little rainbows. I'm gonna spritz it to seal it all in. Spritzing with rubbing alcohol, by the way. And that's it, we're done. Oh yeah, you guys, look at the pineapple deliciousness. Also, how fun are the little bits of rainbow glitter? It really does just bring the party to the soap. So I am gonna wait 18 to 24 hours and then we will come back and take a look at the pineapple whip inside. We are back to cut the pineapple sorbet soap and honestly, I think it looks a little better the next day than it did last night because the yellow has really kind of mellowed out a little bit. It looks a lot more realistic. I've lined it up now with Evangeline, so I'm gonna press down gently. I know it doesn't sound gentle, but it was. <laughs> we'll take one out of the middle and this is what it looks like on the inside. Yes, look at that swirl. It actually did what we wanted to. So the in the pot plus the hanger makes for a really cool design. And then of course on the top you have the light yellow which sort of throws back to the inside and then you have the more orangey yellow up here. And then of course you have all that fantastic glitter. Looks like little sprinkles and the maraschino soap cherry. And I love within the pot swirls and also with hanger swirls that no 
two soaps look the same. Everybody's got their own thing going on. I definitely want to do an entire month next year just dedicated to ice cream and frozen treats. This would be on the list of that to make. We could do like mint chocolate chip and strawberry and like homemade vanilla inspired by Bluebell of course. Thumbs up if you think that's a good idea. This is one of my favorite soaps this month I think. Hear ye, hear ye, who bringeth the question of the day? I bring the question. <laughs> the question. The question. Any day now, my dear. Okay. Would you rather watch the entire show, The Brady Bunch, front to back in one sitting? Bathroom's taken care of food is taken care of, or would you rather have to stand through a 10 hour concert of whatever music group you detest? Woo, Brady Bunch for me. I ain't standing for 10 hours. <laughs> it's not even cause I like or dislike the Brady Bunch. I just wanna be able to sit on my fat butt. I don't actually mind the Brady Bunch that much though. My mom used to watch it with us. We'd get it from Netflix and it was actually, you know, a little bit entertaining with a, a good moral lesson. I would definitely <laughs> take that concert. I know you would. You've gone to 10 hour concerts for people you don't enjoy. <laughs> How about you, Kenny? Kenny's in here. Which one would you rather do? Would you rather concert it? No, I'd rather, I, well, hmm, I think I'd go for the Brady Bunch. Uh, yeah, I mean, Caleb said that drinks were included. <laughs> I mean snacks. Uh, however you want to take that. <laughs> At least it's wholesome. <laughs> it is. If you would like to vote in the question of the day, please click the I in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Who are you on? Team Caleb or Team Kenny Katie? I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Enjoyed the updated pineapple whip soap. I'm gonna call it pineapple sorbet by the way. Pretty sure Dole Whip is copyrighted. And tell me that glitter doesn't just pull the whole thing together. Mm. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to see more like it, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you're into that sort of thing. Do something fun for yourself today, whether that is getting a fresh manicure because your old one is sort of growing out and it's chipping. Or ignoring the fact that your laundry has built its own Christmas tree in your living room. It's out of frame, you can't see it, but it's there. Either way, do something that makes you happy and I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of the 12 Days to Show Much. Bye for now. Meow.